Hello, I'm Kat and today I'm going to be creating a makeup look using the She Glam Scorpio palette. So I've got the next Zodiac palette from She Glam today. I've only got a, a couple more after this one. So this is the Scorpio one. Just look at that packaging. It's beautiful. And then we've got the inside, which this is a very dark palette. Got variations of grey. This one's kind of brown. And these got a bit of a um, blue tint to them. So I'll pop up some close-ups and swatches on the screen for you. So in this one we've got, so we've got four mattes and four kind of shimmer shades. Um, I did actually look at the listing just briefly before this. And we've got some, I think there's some like kind of satiny metallics in here. So I guess they're not quite as glittery. So obviously today's looks gonna be kind of dark. You could create a kind of light look using these top ones here, I imagine. But we're gonna go, I'm thinking maybe a bit of a halo eye. And I'm gonna use, I think these two shades here and the silver shimmer. So we're gonna give that a go and see how that looks. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna go in with Enigma, this one here, which is the lighter shade, and then we'll deepen it up with the one above it, Power. So these are all kind of grey colours, but this has got more of a blue um, tone to it. So we should just put this on the inner and outer lid. Okay, I think that would do for that shade. So let's go with the deeper shade, which is the one just above it called Power. And then we'll just deepen up the outer. Hmm. It's not actually that much darker. You might wanna go in with them. Um, bit them like dark grey I guess I wouldn't say it was a complete black so it has deepened it a bit hopefully you can see that on the camera but I don't think it's enough we'll see we'll do the rest of the eye Okay, I would say that's what we're getting from this. So I've done this eye, and I haven't done this one yet. So you can definitely see it has darkened it a bit, but they do look a lot of the same kind of colour. So I will go and do the other side, but I may go in with that. Well, I think I will go in with that a darker shade, and we'll just deepen it up a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to go in with this other matte shade down the bottom here called dark side so it does actually look like a little bit brown but i think it's gonna blend okay Hopefully you can see that's just deepened it up a little bit. Okay, so let's add on some of that shimmer. We'll just wipe away some of this in the middle. Oh, and this shade is this one up here called Entice. Okay, let's just put some in under the eyes then and we'll go do our base makeup. 
Okay, so here's the finished look then. I think it came out really nice in the end. My lashes have gone on a bit dodgy. I think I need to get rid of these ones now. So for my blusher, I tried out this new one that I have. I mentioned in my previous video, I was gonna use the other, uh, what is it, Game Beauty. <laughs> um persona 5 blusher and this is in violet so this one's more of a kind of ready one so i tried to go a bit more light-handed today and i think it came out quite nice like maybe i'll put a little bit too much on still but it probably looks fine on the camera for you i know the camera does uh, well it's probably the lights really kind of wash out the blush a bit so it doesn't show up quite as much as it does in person. And then for the lips, I decided to use the uh, Game Beauty Persona 5 one as well. So we've got the little packaging here. So this is their Hot Night Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Carmen. So here's the packaging, it's really pretty. And I'd say this is actually, it's like a bit of a cream kind of liquid lipstick. Like, it went on really nicely and it feels really nice. So, yeah. I'm not sure of this. Oh no, it does, it does look like a pinky shade. Because I was thinking when I chose this to wear, I was thinking it was more of a red. But I think it is more of a pink. But I think it looks okay with the blush still. I guess the blush came out a little bit pinky too. So I think that looks fine. But yeah, I really quite like this. So definitely would probably recommend them if you like a nice creamy liquid lipstick i don't know if it dries down i've only just kind of put it on but yeah it feels really nice and my lips are rather dry today so i thought it might not look too great but it looks fine i like him yeah so the palette then that's so looking a bit messy you probably can't see that which is good um, but I think the shades that I use they blended quite nicely. I do think these two that I used here are quite on the same like colour. Like when they're on the eye they kind of seem the same. I would say the second one that I used, the slightly dark one, it just seemed more opaque when I put it on the eye compared to this one that I blended out more. But yeah, I don't feel like there was too much difference in the shades there. And then this one, I wouldn't say it looked too brown on the eyes, but it helped deepen the corners up a little bit. This one might have worked better because that's more of a dark grey black. But I think the look still came out quite nice. And in person, like close up, it looks really nice. Like you can't really tell that I've used kind of like a brownie shade. I don't think. I mean, not many people are looking this close up, are they? But yeah and i think the shimmer came out really nice too so i don't know this seems like the same kind of quality as all the other um zodiac palettes that i've used so far but yeah i quite like this one and i would probably try more of a gray look next time i use this rather than doing the kind of bluey i guess yeah so i think that's going to be it for this video so give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and i shall see you next time Bye!